So today I'm going to talk about ESX-DOS and using it with the next. ESX-DOS is a firmware for the Div MMSC and Div IDE interfaces that many people use on the classic uh, Spectrum models and that enables the loading and saving of files to SD and compact flashcards etc. Now the next already comes with Next ZXOS which is a feature rich operating system which gives you a whole load of bells and whistles um, but if you're wanting to use one of the other personalities available within the next distribution for example you might want to run a pure 128k plus spectrum then next zxos won't be available in any of those personalities it is only available within the next personality itself so i've pressed space on boot and I'm going to now select the Spectrum 1 to 8K personality. So this will look familiar to anyone who owns the tow track. Tape loader, 1 to 8 basic, calculator, 48K basic and tape tester. But there's no method to load or save software from SD card. So for that, you need to have ESX DOS. Bear in mind that the default personality on the Next is the Next personality itself, and a lot of work has been done behind the scenes to make it as compatible as possible. So it should really be the default choice, I feel, um, for most software going forwards. And we want the Next to be an easy machine to use, and of course, when people see all of the different things the next, the next can become. It can be off-putting, um, especially when they see videos such as these where you're having to download files, copy files, do this, do that. Um, and really I just want to assure people that this is not something that you have to do. If something isn't working properly within the next personality itself, the first port of call is to see about getting that behavior fixed and it's possible that the team would be able to adapt the next in order to make that particular thing work. Of course there are also people out there who really enjoy using ESX DOS and I guess this video is probably more for them so that they can continue to use that on the next. So we're going to browse here now to www.esxdos.org and on that page you'll see the latest version 0.8.7 which I'm downloading and if we have a look at that download you'll see that there are a number of files and folders there and what we need to do then is plug the next SD card into your computer Firstly, we're going to drag the bin folder to the next SD card. Then we're going to copy the sys folder, but we want to copy the contents of the sys folder, not the whole folder itself. So we're going to expand that on both sides because there's already a folder called sys in the distribution. Select all the files that we've downloaded from within the sys folder and drag them across to the sys folder in the next distribution. The last folder in the files we've downloaded is temp and as you'll see it's empty. We also have a temp folder already on the distribution so we don't need to copy that. Lastly, the esxmmc.bin file that we've downloaded, we need to copy to the machine's next folder. So browse into machines, browse into next and then drag and drop esxmmc.bin into that folder. We put the SD card back into the next and we press space again to interrupt the boot and with the 1 to 8k personality selected we press E to edit the config. We move down to div mmc rom and change no to yes. Then we press enter and then enter again will load the 1 to 8k machine. There we go. So that will then mount your SD card and you'll be able to browse it by pressing the drive button on the side of the next. 
ESX DOS doesn't support long file names at the moment, so because the next does use uh, long file names quite extensively, it can be quite difficult to find what's what. So, so really, it's probably best to have a folder dedicated to eight plus three file names, so that you can you can find stuff more easily.